um, cro uh, crooked, crooked, yeah? crooked. <laughs> My God, guys. I'm going to be using a pen liner from, it's one of the products I got in the PR package from Tattoo Tint. So I'm going to be using that to line my eyes. So for the purpose of those of you that have been asking me to do a wing liner, please pay attention to this part. Thank you. So because I have good dead lid, if I look straight into the, to the mirror, you can see some fold here. And look at the other part of my eyes. So if you look at the other part of like if I look straight, because obviously when I do my, my liner, this is how I'm going to be looking for our, sorry, this is how most of us do our eyeliner. If I do my eyeliner like this, there's every possibility that I'm going to take this wing up to this part here. So if I look up, look at that line. This line is just going to make that wing fold into my skin. It's going to fold it in and it to make it look crooked. So how do you trick the eye? This is what you do. As it is level to how wooded your eyes is. Like for me, if I look straight, you can still see my lid all the way to the end. There are people that they are fold here. That's the flesh in their their lid close to their uh, crease is drooping towards their lid. So you can hardly see this. Some you see this, this some you can barely see it. So let me, I mean, for the purpose of those that you can still see your lid, like my maybe your your fold is towards the outer corner of your eyes. So this is what you need to do. In order for the width, for the lid not to be too not to weigh down, you are going to start your your uh, liner tiny to the. I'm going to make it look tiny. So like this, if you cannot undo your wing or you don't know how to do it yet, just draw your liner like this. Line your eye like this. I can wing it out a bit. So for those that have, uh, for those of you that would like to wing it out, you need to look straight while you are doing that. So if I look straight, I'm seeing where my fold is. So I can decide to go below that by connecting from this outer corner of my lower part of the eye. In this part, don't stretch your eye. So if I start to go that way, I'll just connect this part here. Then I'll correct this thing. So this is me trying to avoid the fold. Here, can you see? If I look straight, my eyes is still normal. But if I want to trick the eye, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, from here, I'm going to look straight into the mirror and line. My eyes was opened while drawing it, so this is how it's going to look. So if I look down, you will see the difference. See? Can you see this cut here? So this is where you are going to feel. Just feel this part. Then leave this part that is showing like a bit of line. Can you see? Can you see you guys? So it's going to give you something like a bird shape when you look down. But when you look straight, it's going to connect. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. So can you see the second one guys? So I 
and let me also tell you this guys the trick is for you to have this wing liner looking straight like your lid is not hooded you have to make sure that whatever you are drawing from here to this part is lower than the wing itself if you have them on equal level it's going to defeat the whole purpose the purpose of trying to trick the off so by the time you look straight look at me i'm looking straight it's on the same level do you understand guys but if you have it on the same level like all the, from initially if you draw it right from the beginning like from here you give it the same line to the wing by the time you look up because this lid is going to come up and this fold is going to rest on this part automatically they are on the same line right when you initially draw it so those fold is going to push down the wings and it's going to make <laughs> it's going to make the line look crooked you understand guys but if you draw this line from here to this point, if you draw it tiny and this part your wing you make it big don't worry if you make it bigger a little bit higher by the time you look up it's going to be on the same line do you understand me guys look at what i'm looking at you guys look at the butt look at this i'm looking straight it's on the same line but if i look down can you see this part is a lot lower than this part here so i'm going to be going into zaron zaron um gel liner i've been using this gel liner lately guys it's so dark and there's one other one i've been using that has been my favorite from time that's um um, carrots it's more like this but it's bigger it comes in brown and black then the best of them all is marble guys if you're a makeup artist so i'm going to run my brush into this zaron gel liner so i'm going to like i'm tight lining my eyes if some of you are wondering what tight lining is if you look at my eyes here if you look at my eyes you see that there's a flesh showing through here so if I fix my lashes, even though I use mascara, mascara will not cover that side. You will still see a bit of skin showing underneath my lash line. Do you understand? And it's, going, it's not going to look nice. But the excess of tight lining is just to make it look tidy. So this part here, you can even tight line without doing a liner. For those of you that are wooded. So this part here is where I'm going to be applying. More like the rim of the eye that is here, the lower part here where we put pencil here. The upper part of it, that's where you tight line. And you want to use a brow sorry you want to use a gel or a pencil that does not that is waterproof what do i mean by waterproof when you apply it you don't see it running so you don't see um, running mixing up so can you see the difference between this eye and this eye guys it gives you this very nice well put together look 